Hi guys, it's Sheila Jibre. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Tea Tree Micro Airbrush Duo um, hairbrush and I'm super excited to try this. If you saw my last video, you saw that I've been using the um, Revlon One Step hair dryer on my hair for about three years now and I've seen that it has increasingly just made my hair texture um, just a little bit worse. I have a lot of split ends and I'm just trying to put a little bit less um, heat on my hair. So I'm looking for different alternatives and I'm trying different tools to see which one is going to work best for me. So this is a very interesting um, product and we're going to get all into it in a second. I'm going to tell you exactly um, what the specs of this are and the price and everything. So stay tuned. So this is the box that it comes with. Like I said, it's called the T3 Airbrush Duo and it's from the brand T3 Micro, they have a lot of different tools um, for styling your hair, like hair dryers, curling irons, and all of that. So this is a hairbrush dryer, and it brings two different heads. One is a round head, like you can see right here, and the other one is a paddle brush, and it looks like this. The cost of this is $179, and it brings both um, attachments, and you can get it on sale at Tea Tree Micro. I think they have like a 20% uh, deal right now for the holidays, and it's also at Sephora, Ulta, Bed Bath & Beyond, and other retailers. All of their packaging is white and rose gold, so it's super pretty, um, as you can see right here, and this is actually super lightweight. It looks big. Um, but it doesn't really weigh anything. The cool thing about this is that you can um, use the actual like base of the dryer as a blow dryer. And we're gonna use it in a second because my hair is like super dry up here, but it's a little bit too wet on the back. So we're gonna use it just to see how it, um, how it performs. So on the back of the base, you can see this little circles right here. So you basically put it in like this push it in and then click it. And as soon as you hear that click, that means it's in there for good. Um, the bristles on this, on both of them actually feel really nice. I don't feel like it's, they're gonna pull my hair at all. And they have this really weird bristles on this side as well in the paddle brush, so it's kinda cool. So you're supposed to use the paddle brush if you want more of a firm, um, straight hair. And then you can use a, use a round brush if you want it a little bit more, not wavy, but wave on the ends, I guess. So I'm gonna be using probably both of them just to try them out, but I will probably end up using this one the most just because my hair is super curly and is thicker and I just prefer to add a little bit more volume to my hair. But this is something really exciting for me because I can definitely start with this and then just kind of finish off with this one. Um, I love that both of the attachments are really big, especially for my the length of my hair. Um, yeah, that's something that I'm really excited about because I feel like I can, take bigger sections and it probably it's probably gonna work better. So right here has three speed settings and it has um, five heat settings. And this one is supposed to turn the ion on. Um, we're gonna talk about that in a second, like the technology that this hairbrush uses. On the back is the power button, super easy, and then the cool shot on the top. So if you're selling your hair and it is how um, you want it, you're gonna use the cool shot for about five seconds and just kind of seal the style that you already did on your hair. So on this site, it says that it uses um, T3 ion flow technology. And what this means is that it uses negative ions, making um, sealing the cuticle of your hair and making it healthier and also preventing frizz. The other thing that T3 Micro does on all their products is that it has even um, heat all throughout, especially in the curling ones. So that prevents your hair from being burnt on, on some sides and it also um, levels the heat. So if you put it on three, on the heat setting three, it's always gonna stay there and as soon as it reaches that heat temperature, it's not gonna go any further than that no, no matter how long you have it on for. So that's super good and it's a way to really, um, you know, make sure that our hair is not getting too much heat. It also says in the manual what kind of heat settings you're supposed to use depending on what kind of hair you have. So it says fine hair should be one to three and medium hair three and four and thicker hair um, number five. So I definitely don't wanna go in with too much heat too soon. So I wanna try it out on three and if that's not working for me, I'm going to go up to four. So we're going to start. I am going to part um, my hair in a couple sections. And actually, before I do, I do want to try out without the pedal hit. I also want to show you how you take this off. So it's very easy. You just push it down, twist it to the white dot right here, and then take it out. So super easy. I'm going to turn it on. Mm. 
And the cool thing is that it's, it remembers um, your settings. So if I left it on that and I turn it back on, it would be right there. So number, setting number three doesn't feel too hot at all and actually feels really good on the scalp. It doesn't feel like I have to like pull it away or anything. So I think that setting is gonna be good for me. Um, so I like the fact that you can use it kind of like as a blow dryer, but I definitely don't have the type of hair that I can just like kind of blow, um, just use that to style my hair. I definitely have to go in with um, much more heat and a brush just because I have very curly hair like I mentioned. Um, so I'm going to start with, I think, the petal brush. So we're going to go ahead and attach this. So push it down and lock it in. And I'm going to use the same settings. I might have to go five to six times even more on my hair just to make sure that, you know, the curls are all gone. But we're going to see how it's working. I already have heat protectant on my hair and I put a little bit of primer as well. It's definitely dry my hair like my hair is dry but it's making it really frizzy just because I'm not applying as much heat as I need to so I'm gonna put it on setting four but I did want to mention that this brush is very gentle my hair is super tangly and usually gets stuck on any of the brushes that I use whether it's in a hairbrush um, or just like a styling brush and it's not happening with this so this is super nice even though they feel like plastic um, bristles but they also have like the little bristles I, I love this so far so I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more see how that looks so you saw me trying a couple different um, techniques just because I want to get the hang of this and I feel like there's a little bit of a learning curve with it um, I love the fact that it's super easy to get right into the root because for me I have like I said really curly hair so I really have to make sure that the root is dry um, but my hair feels so soft. It honestly doesn't feel like I use um, a hot tool at all. And one of the things that I really didn't like about the Revlon is that my hair was super hot to the touch and my hair just feels honestly cool. This feels cool. Even the top, like the back of this. I'm really liking this. I'm gonna go ahead and use the other side. So far, I like the paddle brush, but I do feel like the ends, I like them a little bit more... Um, just I guess with a little bit more volume and wave to it. So I'm gonna try this one. Even if I use the petal brush for my whole hair, I feel like I would still go in with the round brush and kind of finish it off and give my hair a little bit more of like a blowout. So let's try that. So I'm gonna detach it, I'm just pressing on. Like I said, this is still cool to the touch. I'm attaching the um, round brush. So easy. I feel like I maybe talk too much and now my hair is like too dry, but I'm going with a bigger section than I normally would um, just because I want to see what it, what it does. So this side, both sides feel so soft. I honestly haven't felt my hair with this texture in a long time because like I said, my hair is just really um, damaged right now, I guess from the heat. I will say my hair did get tangled in this brush um, just because I took a really big section. So I would definitely next time just cut this right in half. Um, but I do find that it gets really hot or not really hot, sorry, that it styles it super quick, even with my hair that just retains um, a lot of water. Um, I just went over a couple of times just because one, I want to definitely reduce the frizz on my hair. Um, and this will, it seems really puffy right now, but my hair kind of looks like this when I style it. And then a couple hours later, it just looks um, just completely flat. So that's why I like to go under because even though I have a lot of volume on my hair, um, once I style it, it kind of looks really flat. So I like to go over so it just, you know, looks a little bit more um, like this and has a little bit more of like life to it. Um, I definitely want to go over with the round brush on this side just to make sure that it looks pretty. 
<laughs> just because I don't know if I should use it on a higher setting when I'm using the paddle brush, but I'm right now on number four. But like I said, my hair is really thick. So if, I, if you do have really fine hair, I would recommend going under if what you want is volume and then also kind of going like this versus going down because this is just going to make your hair super flat and kind of um, it, like make it look like you use a straightening um, iron instead. So I really, really like how this is looking. It was also super easy to just kind of like grab hair and go down as you guys saw. And I love that because I don't have to use both of my hands. I can just concentrate on the fact that I'm holding this really big tool. This may be really big and clunky, but it's not heavy whatsoever. Like it feels super nice. And if you do get tired, you can just go over with the other hand. So I like that. Now I'm gonna go over this side and kind of try to do a little bit of a twirl just to see if it gives me any um, curls or anything like that. And then I'm gonna be using the cool shot once I have it exactly where I like it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I was trying, I was really trying to twirl my hair. So I was kind of like going in, like if I was using a clip iron. Um, so I was like kind of twisting it, going down, leaving it there for a second, twisting it, going down. And I feel like it just didn't work for my hair, but the ends look really pretty. So I really like that. When you press on the cool shot, um, it doesn't feel like it's doing anything, but when you turn it around, um, it's gonna turn blue right here in this setting, letting you know that it's not um, giving out any heat and instead it's giving you cold air. So I'm gonna try it on for you guys so you can see. So I don't know if you could tell, but it um, lit up all of the um, little lights here. So the five lights were on and they were blue instead of white. So when it's in heat, it's white, and when it's in cool shot, it's blue. So let's keep going. I feel like I'm talking too much. I do have some problem areas with my hair, and this is definitely one of them. I feel like it's really hard for me to just get this area right here on the back um, dry really quickly. And it honestly is the most frizzy part of my hair as well. And this went in with no trouble. I literally just took this whole section of hair and just use the whole brush on it and that's just insane to me because of how much hair i have i feel like it looks like i'm pulling just because of the length of my hair and i have a table here that doesn't let me um kind of go all the way down but this is not pulling my hair at all um and if i was using the revlon brush i honestly would have so many little hairs stuck in the actual brush and i do have some on this i'm not gonna lie to you um but it's not nearly as bad and it just doesn't feel like hot at all it honestly feels like i'm doing my hair with a uh, cold tool which is insane to me and it's still giving me this so um i'm still using the heat setting four and i feel like i could go with a three it would just take me a little bit longer to um, style my hair but now i'm just gonna finish off my hair maybe i'll go in with the um paddle section just for you know to give you more of a review using it but i was just really excited for this one the only down uh, fall that i see is that i wanted to do a little bit more of a, like a um kind of like loose waves but i feel like i just don't really know how to use it and maybe i'll watch like a tutorial or something so i'm able to do that but so far i'm super happy with how it's looking I'm just surprised with how easy and fast it dries the hair. And I also feel like I picked a really hard section to use the paddle brush on because it's really hard for me to get back there. If you can see, I was trying to do like this and kind of wrap it around, but it was just really hard. So I'm gonna go back <laughs> with the round brush. I'm gonna go with the setting five for heat just because I'm super intrigued on how, what that looks like since this is not hot whatsoever. And I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna just try it. Let me just try it. That definitely feels much more like 
using a regular hair dryer or any of them smells, I could smell the heat, so I turned it off real quick. I'm just gonna stay with my four or my three. I did really didn't use a cool shot as much as I should have. I kind of kept forgetting, so that's something that I'm gonna have to get used to, but I feel so comfortable putting this really close to my scalp just because it's not doing any damage whatsoever. I feel like my hair looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna finish styling. I'm probably gonna have, I don't know if I'm gonna have to um, spray some water on the top of my hair. I waited so long, but I think it's damp enough. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get away with it, um, being able to dry it. But we're almost at the end, so let's get this done real quick. Okay, I think I dried my hair in about 40 minutes, but I was talking a lot. Normally it takes me about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Um, and I feel like it was just as fast as using the Revlon, especially because I can take um, big sections with this, just as I was using with the Revlon air, uh, hair dryer. So if you are looking for something that is super quick to dry your hair, this is definitely a good option. I love how it turned out. I love how my um, hair looks. I love how my scalp feels. That is the number one thing that I was looking for. I just didn't want all that heat on my hair um, and just near like the root. I cannot tell you guys how like impressed I am. I called my friend, I don't know if you guys saw me, I called my friend to let her know how I was working and how it was looking. This video is not sponsored at all, although it should be, but um, I just really liked the technology or whatever. However this is made, it's just beautifully made and I feel like it works so well. So I do have some thoughts about the hair dryer. Um, I have a lot to say. I don't think I would use a paddle brush as much as, much as you think um, that I would. Normally, I don't like to just straighten my hair. I like to make it look kind of like this because the frizz that you're seeing right now, just like the static of blow drying your hair, is gonna go down in a couple hours. And I just love that, you know, it doesn't look super flat up here. I love the volume that it gave me. And this was just kind of bulky and I just kept wanting to use it like if it was a round brush just because I prefer uh, round brushes. So I kept like running into an issue where like remembering that there's nothing on this side. But I love the fact that you can just kind of go like this with it at the end um, and just strain everything out. Um, so I think that's the order that I personally will use it. I know a lot of people prefer to go with the paddle brush first and then finish up with a round brush. But I think I would do it the other, the other way around and start with a round brush and finish with the paddle board, the paddle board, oh my God, the paddle brush, um, because my hair is just so long and this is just so easy to use for me. I love the um, bristles on this. They are so gentle on both of them. I just, I'm in love with this. Honestly, the whole thing just still now after 40 minutes of use feels so nice to the touch, not hot at all. And I did, uh, mentioned that once you put it on um, heat setting five, it will get really hot. I don't know what the exact temperature of heat setting five is, but I think it's on the little manual right here if you um, end up getting it and end up using it. I, this is, I think this is something that everyone should try, especially if you're looking for a much healthier option for your hair. Something I really like is the simplicity of the menu. I love the fact that, you know, it's really easy. It has three speeds, five heat settings, um, I'm not sure if this just turns on the ion technology on and off because I think it uses it all the time. I'm not really sure what this does. And I'm actually gonna look it up for you right now. But figure it out, apparently this turns on the boost volume. Um, so once you turn this on, it takes the negative ion technology away and it gives you a little bit more volume to your hair. And then once it, you turn it back on, uh, the ion technology comes back on. I don't know much about what that works like, but I do know that negative ions on the hair just trap in the moisture and, you know, reduce frizz and flyaways as well. So I, that's definitely all stuff that I want. It definitely has as much volume as I want it to have, and it just feels so nice to the touch. I am really in love with this um, hair tool. I think this is something that everyone would benefit from. I think it's a really good price point, especially if you're looking at the Dyson Airwrap, which is at almost $600. 
and this one is only 179 and like I said they have a lot of coupons and you can use coupons at Bed Bath & Beyond if you're shopping there or points at Ulta so um, if you're using if you're looking for their curling irons I also recommend those as well but they do end up getting way hotter than this tool that's why I'm so impressed with it because I was looking exactly for something like this and I feel like I have found it. I also ordered the Dyson Airwrap, so that's coming in a couple of weeks, so I will probably be comparing the two of them side by side, but if you have long hair like me, you know that round brushes are just the best thing, especially for like curly hair, um, and I just feel like this is so nice. I cannot stress that enough. I feel like this is something that you should just try if you're looking for something like this because it is gonna be an experience. <laughs> Um, I love how my hair turned out. I'm gonna give you a little turn around so you can see how it looks like. Maybe I'll show it to you in a couple hours once the frizz is down because it is just a little bit frizzy right now. I would totally feel comfortable with going with a curling iron or a curling wand right now or a curling iron um, and feel like I didn't really damage my hair but that is the number one thing that I'm looking for right now just to use tools that are a little bit healthier for my hair and to kind of bring that shine back. Um, and I feel like this definitely did it. My hair looks great. If you're wondering what products I use today when I wash my hair, I use the Way um, Thick Hair Shampoo and the Way Thick Hair Mask. To clean the filter, you just kind of wipe away the dust or you can go in with a damp cloth and just kind of clean it off. So it's super easy. And the other thing I was gonna mention is that the cord of this is comfortably long. Um, I would say it's longer than any other hair tool that I've ever used, so that's super nice because you're not always super close to um, a wall. Outlet. Thank you. You're not always super close to a wall outlet, so that's super nice. Um, yeah, I, I cannot stress enough how much I like the texture and how my hair feels right now, so. I wanted to show how my hair is looking. It's been about an hour since I finished recording. My boyfriend's making dinner, so that's why there's a little bit of noise, but it feels so nice and it looks so pretty. Um, I painted my nails, so that's why I'm like holding everything like this because I wanna, I already ruined one and I have to repaint it, but um, it just looks, I honestly really like how it looks. So I think, in my opinion, it is definitely worth it. It is something that I will um, definitely use if I end up keeping it. I say that because I'm also ordering, um, also waiting for the air wrap, so I don't know which one I like the best. Um, but as of now, this is like my number one. So if you are looking for something like this, I would definitely recommend it with my eyes closed. I don't think you should get this if you think that you're gonna get like super wavy ends and um, kind of have like that air wrap style blowout where it looks like you just walk out of the salon. I think you should get this if you want to just, you know, style your hair with uh, lesser heat and maybe have a little bit more volume to it. Yes, and if you have my texture kind of hair and if you have to use a lot of heat on your hair um, to be able to style it, like me, um, I would definitely recommend this because it's just a game changer. But I think that there's le definitely a learning curve on how do you use it and how you know how it performs. I think that I really like the way that it turned out. I think on the next um, the next time I use it, I'll probably be a lot more comfortable on techniques. And I do want to go ahead and do like those twirly little videos that I've seen people do, like kind of even get like a curl out of this. Um, I definitely want to try that out, but I just wasn't able to do that on this video. But I love how my hair turned out, like a lot, a lot. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on how it's looking and how it feels. Today's a very um, rainy day here. So if my hair is gonna get frizzy, it's definitely gonna be today. And I feel like it, it, it is a little frizzy. So I will give you guys a technique that in Dominican we call tui. And basically you wrap your hair all around your head um, and you start putting bobby pins as you wrap it and leave it on for either the whole night or about 30 minutes. And it's gonna take the frizz off of your hair the longer that you leave it. But it does make your hair super flat, especially on this area. So I don't really like to do that because I do like the volume up here. But I do do that without the bobby pins. I just use a beanie and I just wrap my hair around my head and put the beanie on and leave it for either the whole night if I don't want like the hair, like my hair around my face because it's really, it just bothers me or 30 minutes after I blow dry it to take the frizz off. 
So yeah, that is my secret tip. <laughs> you, uh, it's not something I invented, but it's definitely something that I do most of the time when I blow dry my hair just to prevent frizz. But like I said, I do hate the fact that it takes like the volume up here away. The links down below if you want to check out this uh, product. Maybe I, I'll do that side by side with this one and the Airwrap or the Revlon depending on what you guys want to see. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe below, like this video, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye! Thank you.